Hello, it's Red here, and today I'm going to be reading some r slash I do work here lady. So, get ready, and here we go. Random angry lady who doesn't like where I parked. The store I work at has a parking lot on either side of the building, front and back. The back lot is where employee parking is and where we also park our work vans. The front lot very, very rarely fills up. But last week there was some construction done to the building, so there were work trucks filling up the front lot. Also, the back door to our store has been replaced, but the auto close arm wasn't, so you have to hold the door and shut it slowly or else it slams shut and is super loud. Sundays are my late start days, where I come in after the store is already open to run my van route. I pulled into the back lot in my POV wearing my uniform hoodie and polo shirt, both have store logo on them. I also usually wear a black unmarked hat as well. So I park and as I'm getting out of my car, the lady in the car next to me stops pulling out of her spot and rolls down her window. The following conversation ensues. Excuse me, you can't park there. I sure can. You sure can't. An employee just yelled at me for parking back here. You have to go around front. No, it's okay. I work here. Then why aren't you in uniform? I point to the logo on my shirt. I am in uniform. Where's your badge? I don't have one. Well, the other guy was wearing one. My manager wears a tag that says manager because we all wear the same polo shirt. How am I supposed to know that? Uh... Whatever. Your customer service sucks anyway. When I get in there, I'm telling your manager. Great. He's the one with the manager badge? At this point, I'd gotten my bag out of my back seat and had started walking towards the store. Hey! Buttface! I'm talking to you! I'm about to turn around and say something when I guess Scott, my manager, heard the commotion and decided to try and get me out of a tough spot in his own way. He throws the back door open and yells, Jason! Why the F are you late? This woman told me I can't park here. He doesn't even work here! Ma'am, I asked you to pull round front to the customer parking. You can't treat your employees that way! I thought you said he doesn't work here! By now I've made it into the store and Scott waves me in. Making full eye contact with Karen, he moves his hand and lets the door slam shut over top of what she was yelling at him. Unfortunately, I wasn't there long enough to see if she actually came in and tried to deal with him or not. <laughs> like, you know, it's it's kind of nice if, you know, you, you think you're helping someone out by telling them a rule that maybe they didn't know, but when they tell you that you know, that's okay, it doesn't apply to them. You should just be like, okay, have a nice day, bye. But this lady's like, no, I'm right. No matter what you say, I have to be right because I am the queen of the universe. Okie dokie, here's our next story. I work here, I'm not a student. So when I was like 17, 18, I worked casual contract at a university. Kind of like a temp, but contracted at the university, not in an agency. Most of the times I worked there, my age didn't cause much of an issue because it was usually during holidays or breaks. But it did still happen a few times. One of my times there was during the enrollment period at the beginning of the term semester. And I was tasked with accepting ID card pictures and printing all the cards. I would do them in batches of around 50 and then take them through to the student hub where students were actively enrolling and collecting their cards and putting them in alphabetical order with the rest. The students enrolling were being crowd controlled by older students. I'd been doing this for a few days and it was mid-afternoon when I took another batch through only to be stopped by a fourth year student insisting that I take a ticket and stand to the side. At first I thought she was speaking to someone else and went to continue but was quickly stopped by her arm coming out in front of me and her repeating herself. Oh, um, I'm not enrolling. You need to take a ticket and wait to the side. I'm working, I'm dropping off the ID cards. Yeah, if you need an ID card, you need to take a ticket. Again, I'm working here. I have 50 cards that need to be put with the rest. Just before she went to speak again, and I could tell by her look that she obviously still wasn't getting it, and was assuming, despite the 50 ID cards, that I was a student. One of the actual staff members spotted me and could tell there was an issue and saved me by shouting over, Hey, OP, is that the next batch? Does it have... John Smith in there? <laughs> I, I literally don't have anything to say about this one. Okay, here's our next story. Racist against the owner? 
I work at a popular high-priced restaurant and we get new employees often, but the owner, who was also the general manager, hired some new faces and he put me in charge of them. I'm not a manager and the actual managers that were working with me made it clear that they were putting the responsibility of the entitled jerk onto me. Immediately, I didn't like this entitled jerk. He was unprofessional and rude, but when he found out he was older than me, all respect went out the window. I'm a rather short, chunky girl, and he belittled me on my weight as well as my age. Entitled Jerk was also racist and homophobic to me as well, and let the other staff and his guests know about his opinions very aggressively. On to why he was fired. The owner of the restaurant next door is friends with the owner of the restaurant I work at. They are business partners and have corporate ties with each other. This is where Isaac comes in. Isaac is the son of the owner next door. Isaac, his father and my general manager are on a poster in the back room. The family has owned restaurants for years. I don't know their race, but they're from overseas. Anyway, they have a thick accent and sometimes it's hard to understand them the first try. Isaac walked in and I had a difficult time understanding his accent and after a few minutes of trying to understand each other, we got his order in. Entitled jerk got annoyed listening to my conversation and started making comments like, Learn English, a mumbling while making ugh sounds. Isaac heard this and layered on his accent, making it even harder and playing it up while asking Entitled Jerk questions about our food. Entitled Jerk was noticeably pissed off and started yelling racist and anti-immigrant things at Isaac. He ended his rant with, If I was the owner, I'd ban all towel heads like you. Isaac perked up and in almost perfect English, with, a li with little detectable accent, he said, I'm the owner. Entitled Jerk went off again, claiming how he was lying until he realized Isaac was one of the co-owners. You would expect an apology, right? Not from Entitled Jerk. He then claimed that it wasn't fair for Isaac to be a co-owner because it was taking away a job from Americans. Isaac smiled very big and asked me to write a witness report while he called my general manager and his dad. The next day, Entitled Jerk was gone and I hopefully never have to deal with him again. <laughs> Entitled Jerk is a full on idiot. I, I ranted about how stupid racism is in one of my previous videos, so I won't have another rant about it now, but oh my god! I hope you guys enjoyed those r slash I do work here lady stories, read by me, read. If you did, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe as well because you know you want to. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.